welcome to the Old Time Radio Westerns. I'm your host, Andrew Rines, and let's get into this episode. This episode is going to be the Lone Ranger. Original air date is December 11th, 1944, and the title is Six Gun Souvenir. Let's get into it. With a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. His faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past and the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver, the Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Hurry, big fellow! I'll send The Bittersweet Valley had been a happy home for Luke Callan and his wife and child. The man had worked hard, determined to create a lasting peace and prosperity on the new frontier. When Callan's wife died, the boy Bill had grown nearly to manhood. And Lou Callan was proud of his son. He was proud of the heritage that he was able to pass along to the young man. Then the trouble came. Across the valley, turned to sheep ranching. The triangle herd was raided a dozen times. And out of the flaming hatred that swept across the rangeland came the demand for law enforcement. <laughs> Young Bill Calhoun responded. When the election took place at the town of Five Mile, the boy was elected by an overwhelming majority. It was many weeks later that Lou Calhoun rode into Five Mile and dismounted directly in front of the sheriff's office. Oh, oh, uh, steady. (laughs) As he entered the small room, Calhoun could see his son Bill seated at a big desk and five pointed stars showing plainly on the young man's shirt front. Hi, Dad. Have a chair. You sent word you wanted to see me. What's on your mind? Still sore at me, huh? What do you want to see me about? All right. I wanted to talk with you, Dad, about some of the new riders you've been taking on out of the triangle. 
Then you talk and I'll listen. What about them? I, uh, been checking over the list here. Red Barkley, Jack Martin, Pee Wee Nelson, Andy Lake. Them fellas working for cowboy wages? Well, that happens to be my business. Mm-hmm. But some of those boys, maybe all of them, have got reps as gunslingers. And that happens to be my business. Go on. I've been sheriff here in Five Mile for three months. And I hear the talk that's going around. Talk? I hear folks saying that the triangle outfit's getting pretty high and mighty ever since Lou Callan's boy got himself elected sheriff. Huh. Why don't you finish that? Since he got himself elected by a bunch of sheep herders. I won't deny that Clem Ainsley backed me when I run for office. Ainsley? That mangy old varmint. One of these days I'm going to hang his carcass on a fence post. That's what I wanted to see you about, Dad. What? You've been making a lot of fight talk about old man Ainsley ever since he started bringing in sheep on this range. Sheep? Nah. Those smelly, blatten grass killing... Now, hold on, Dad. You've got to realize that Clem Ainsley owns his ranch the same as you own the Triangle. And if he wants to raise sheep or, or jackrabbits, that's his privilege. But he's ruining the whole country. He's not hurting your land any. The point is, you go off the deep end and get all wound up with a lot of fight talk. Then you accuse Ainsley of rustling your stock. Darn right I do. You bring in a crowd of fancy gunslingers. And now Ainsley's gone and done the same thing. Oh. Uh -huh. He has, huh? That's right. He's got a dozen new men on his payroll. And the kingpin of them all is Vic Fowler. Fowler? You mean to say... I mean to say I'm the sheriff. And I don't figure to have a range war on my hands just because you and Clem Ainsley start acting like a couple of school kids. Yeah, I heard Fowler was in these parts. Well, I got a lot of respect for your job as sheriff, son. But I also got some respect for my own personal property. Meaning? Last month, the Triangle had pretty near 300 head of prime beef cattle run off by rustlers. Yeah, I know. You don't know, Bill. 300 head at $40 apiece? That's $12,000. Hmm. How long do you think I can keep going? But I've been trying to stop the rustlers. Right. You tried and failed. Now I'm going to try. Dad, you know better than to take the law in your own hands. You know I ain't going to sit back and let some sneaking coyote rob me blind. You can tell your friend Ainsley I said so. You've got no proof against Ainsley. I'll have all the proof I need. The first time I catch Clem Ainsley on the Triangle Ranch. Understand? <laughs> Late afternoon, the sound of excited voices out front brought Sheriff Bill Callan to the door of his office. Callan saw a stalwart Indian riding up on a paint horse and leading another horse. The sheriff needed only one glance at the figure slumped across the saddle of the second horse to realize that the man was the sworn enemy of his father. The man his father had threatened to kill, Clem Ainsley. What? What's happened here? Me find this fellow on trail. Maybe five, six miles west of town. West of town? Why, why that... Don't say it, Sheriff. Five miles west of town, it'd be on a triangle range. Oh, hello, Fowler. Uh, is he... Uh, him plenty bad hurt. You get doctor right way. Clem, what happened, old timer? Somebody go over to Doc Sawyer. Tell him to hustle over here. I'll go, Sheriff. Who's heading for town? Oh, saw your dad coming. Then what? Cut across the south draw. Figured he wouldn't see me, but... Oh, oh. But he did see you, huh, Clem? And cut down on you. Keep your mouth shut, Fowler, or I'll shut it for you. Hey, yes, sir. Hey, sure. Heard rifle shot. That's all I remember until the engine found me. Stand back. Here come Dr. Fowler. Uh, never mind. Don't need doctor. No. All right, Sheriff, let's get a posse together and head for your old man's trial. Yeah. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. When I want a posse formed, I'll let you know. Yeah? You ain't figuring on letting your old man get away with cold-blooded murder, are you, Sheriff? I'll see here, Fowler. You when heard I... Clem say how he tried to avoid meeting Lou Callan. And everybody knows Callan's been laying for Ainsley for a long time. But that doesn't prove... Ainsley's it. dead and I'm running his outfit. I'm going to swear out a murder warrant against... You're going to serve. <laughs> shot when I was riding home, 
Figured maybe one of the boys was taking a pot shot at the coyote, maybe. Ainsley's dead. Murdered on the Triangle Range. Serves him right. He was warned enough times to keep off the place. That's the point. You've been making threats against Ainsley for six months. Now he's dead. And from what he says, everybody figures you killed him. Let him figure and be darned. Well, what do you figure to do about it, son? I've got to take you back to Five Mile to stand trial. You got a warrant? Here. Hmm. Signed by Vic Fowler, huh? He'll be running the Ainsley spread until other arrangements are made. Wanted me to get up a posse to come after you. I told him it wouldn't be necessary. Yeah. You told him wrong, boy. I... What do you mean? Five Mile ain't like it used to be. Used to have quite a bunch of choice crowds. Don't worry about that bunch. I'll guarantee your safety. <laughs> yeah, no thanks, son. I've got my own guarantee of safety right here in my holster. So if you're aiming to take me to jail, you better go back and get the posse follower offered. Dad, you don't realize what you're saying. Let me see that warrant you got there. Here. It's legal, Dad. It's the law. It's... What? There's your warrant, Bill. Any more questions? You're making a big mistake. I got my job to do. Then get busy and do it. You've got to go back with me. When I was in your office this morning, you made some mention about these newcomers on my payroll not working for cowpuncher wages. So? So you was right. They draw a fight. And far as I'm concerned, they can start earning their money any time you and Vic Fowler want to come after me. I'm not going to let you make a fool out of yourself. And me too. Now... Are you going to change drop your mind? Drop that gun, Sheriff, before I drop you. What? <laughs> you all think you're pretty smart laughing at the law. Well, I'll be back. And you'll laugh out of the other side of your faces. Better get started, boy. I imagine your sheep herder friends are waiting for you. Oh, 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 Easy now. This is the place, Tonto? Uh-huh. Now, me find Ainsley Tonto right here in brush alongside trail. Steady, Silver. Let's take a look around, Tonto. Uh, Ainsley Tonto say him heading for town. Say him see Lou Callan. And tried to avoid a meeting, huh? That's right. Ainsley say him ride down here into South Draw so Callan not see him. Mm-hmm. This is a perfect spot for an ambush from either side of the trail. Kimasabi. Riders in a big bunch. Quick, get the horses back out of sight. Here, Silver, come on, boy. Here, Scout. Take the horses back in the brush, Tonto. I'm going to hide here by the trail. See who those riders are. Uh, come, Scout. Come, Silver. All right, Tonto. The young fellow in the lead wore a sheriff's badge. Um, that young Callan. The man riding with him in the lead was Vic Fowler. Ah. Maybe them go with posse to get Lou Callan for killing Ainsley, huh? That's what's happening, all right. I hate to think of the killing that's going to follow when those two gangs of professional gunfighters meet. Well, uh, it's too bad young sheriff will have to go after father. He evidently believes he can guarantee his father a safe trial. The town of Five Mile is a sheep town. The crowd might have its own ideas about it. Toto. Uh huh. Didn't you say that Ainsley was heading for town and rode into the south draw when he saw Luke Callan? That's right. That means Ainsley was coming from the east. In order for him to have seen Luke Callan, Callan would have been riding off to the north of that ridge. That's right. Look here, Toto. Why? Why, that fresh bullet hole in tree. A bullet hole, yes. Made by the same bullet that killed Ainsley. Bullet hole in east side of tree, Kimasabi. Which means that whoever killed Ainsley was following him from the east, traveling west. Lou Callan was riding from the west, heading for the triangle. Ah, that plenty plain. The killer stopped and went into ambush when Ainsley rode down into this draw. Maybe killer not even see Lou Callan come from other direction. But Ainsley had seen him. And when he recovered consciousness after you brought him into town, he quite naturally believed Callan had shot him. Ah. Uh. What we do? Steady, Silver. We've got to get there before that posse does. Ah. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver.
curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Continue our story. At the Triangle Ranch, Lou Callan spoke grimly to the group of hard-faced men about him. Boys, this trouble has been coming for a long time. Now, well, it just so happens that I didn't bushwhack old Ainsley, but he's dead, and folks think I killed him. Yeah, I ain't sorry the old buzzard is dead, but I am sorry that my kid is the sheriff. Because it means I got to fight my own flesh and blood. He wasn't fooling when he said he'd be back with a posse. Well, we'll make it our business to be ready for him. If it takes war to clear things up, then... Pee-wee, what the blue blazes? Company coming, boss. Two riders coming from town, really cutting the breeze. Could you recognize them? No, but they're coming like the devil himself was holding the reins. Nothing to worry over, just two riders... You just gents just to be ready in case of trouble. Hey, what the mess, man? Callum, you got to clear out of here and quickly. Yeah? Just why? Who are you, outlaw? I never mind who I am. Your son is heading this way with the posse. Yeah, I've been expecting him. That all you got to tell me? My friend and I just came from the scene of the killing. Well, what about it? If my kid wants to choose upsides against me, what's it to you? Do you want to fight against your boy? Don't talk, silly. Of course I don't. But he ain't giving me any choice. I'll give you a choice. Come on, clear out of here quickly. Not on your life. I fight for what's right. So do I, Callan. And I can prove that you had nothing to do with the killing of Clem Ainsley. What? How can no you? No time for questions now. Will you ride and help us to capture the real killer? Or stay here and start a war with your own son? Boys, I'm going along with what this masked hombre is telling me. Come on, let's get out of here. Right. <laughs> Within a matter of moments, the entire crew of the Triangle, led by the masked rider and Tonto, were riding away from the Triangle, heading toward the distant, protecting foothills. When the posse arrived at the ranch, they found the place deserted. The young sheriff, Bill Callan, felt secretly glad that his father had escaped. And yet, with heavy heart, the boy realized that Lou Callan's flight constituted an admission of guilt. Meanwhile, in Five Mile, the townspeople were in an ang empty handed. Without the prisoner they'd gone after. So Lou Callan flew the coop, huh? If you ask me, there's something mighty fishy about the whole setup. Yeah, especially after his kid went out there alone this morning. <laughs> Probably went out to warn his old man the posse would be coming after him. Well, at least we don't have to wonder no more whether or not Callan's guilty. He's running away before the posse got there proves that. We should have listened to Vic Fowler and made the sheriff take a posse along the first time. Sure, that's right. The sheriff didn't come back to town with a posse, did he? Nope. Went riding off into the hills with Vic Fowler. Said he was going to do some looking around. <laughs> Mighty fishy, if you ask me. Tumble down shack far back in the foothills of the Triangle Range, the masked rider of justice spoke to Lou Callan and the men with him. And the bullet mark which Todd and I found on that tree is positive proof that you couldn't have fired the shot which killed Ainsley. Now the job is to find the man who did kill him. Meanwhile, to avoid a gun battle with your son. The kid's doing what he thinks is right, I guess. I don't envy him his job, not a speck. Well, if my hunch is right. Your son will have a chance to do his job in a big way before tomorrow morning. 
What do you mean? I, I had another reason for wanting to get you and your men away from the triangle tonight, Kellen. What? Someone has been getting rich, raiding your beef herds. They knew that the sheriff couldn't stop them. When you began importing these fighting men, they figured they'd have a fight on their hands. You're blamed right they would. You suspected Ainsley was behind the rustling. I still do. Well, you'll we'll find out tonight. Huh? Callan, you made a lot of threats against Ainsley. I think now that he was killed for only one reason. Whoever killed him knew that the blame would fall on you because of the many threats you'd made. Yeah. They figured I'd hang for it, huh? Either that or go on the dodge to escape justice. In either case, you'd be forced to leave the triangle wide open for the rustlers to finish cleaning out your stock. What the blazes? If you suspected that, why in thunder did you bring us all the way out here? So that the men we're after would swing into action immediately. Then come on. Let's get back there pronto and be ready for them when they come. No, not you, Callan. The sheriff's posse may still be looking for you. You might be shot on sight. You're staying here with Pee Wee Nelson. The rest of us will be able to handle the rustlers if they show up. Come on, men. Come on, Toto. It's come. And my hunch was right. Get ready for the men. They're coming straight this way. Coming after the main herd. All right. Let them have it. Meanwhile, in the hideaway shack where the fugitive Lou Callan and Pee Wee Nelson waited for word from the masked man. Doggone it, Lou. There was no sense in my staying here. Someone's after the herd tonight. I ought to be with the rest of the boys. You think I don't feel the same way? But that masked man is figuring out angles I never thought of before. So I'm playing this thing his way. Yeah, just the same. I don't like sitting around here. All right, both of you, reach. You too, Pee Wee. This is Vic Fowler talking. I'd like nothing better than to burn you down. Well, so you found us, huh, son? I thought maybe you'd head for this shack. Now I know why the masked man wanted me to stay with you, Lou. I'll try for that gun, Pee Wee. I'm warning you. Always wanted to meet up with you, Fowler. Always wondered if I could... <laughs> he always wondered if he was fast enough for Vic Fowler. <laughs> And now he's found out. You dog follower. You had the drop on him right from the start. I got the drop on you too, Mr. Callan. Now, come on, Sheriff. Let's get your old man to jail where he belongs. I'm asking you not to give us any trouble, Dad. You know I got my job to do. I'll promise you a fair trial. Sure. Sure, I know what kind of a fair trial I can expect from a bunch of sheep herders. Let's go. Did you stop the cattle from stampeding, Toto? Hey, easy with those ropes. I got a bullet in my arm. You're lucky it's in your arm, outlaw. That'll all right now, Kimasabi. Good, fine. Take it easy. All right. Now, mister... I suppose you know what happens to rustlers when they're caught red-handed. Oh, now, now, now listen. Get your prisoners on their horses, men. What, what are you going to do with us? Don't ask silly questions. Hurry it up. There's a bunch of cottonwood trees about a mile west of here. Oh, now, now, wait a minute. you, you, you got to give us a chance. You took a chance, mister, and lost. Now, all ready to go, Kimatabi. Steady, Silver. Easy, big fella. All right. Let's get it over with. Come on, Silver. Get it up. Ah. Masked Rider confided in Tonto that he was bluffing. And if the bluff works, Tonto, we'll soon know who killed Clem Ainsley. Mm -hmm. Crooks, plenty scared. You hang them. Here we are at the cottonwoods. Ho, Silver, ho! Oh, oh, oh. Hurry it up now. Get your ropes over that lowest branch. Tonto, bring those prisoners underneath the tree. One at a time. Uh, please, please, you you got to give us a fair chance. We, we was only obeying orders. Orders? What do you mean? If you want the man who was responsible for the for the stealing, even for the killing of... Shut your mouth. Go ahead, mister. You can talk if you like. 
Or we'll go ahead with the party. Get Vic Fowler. He's the one you want. It was him planned the whole thing. Even killed Clem Ainsley to put Luke Allen on the dodge. All right, men. Take those ropes down. There won't be a hanging party tonight. Now, oh, where can I find Fowler? I want to know if you're telling the truth. I ain't lying. Fowler and the sheriff went in the hills after old man Callan. The sheriff figured he was hiding out in the line shack back there. You men, get these prisoners to town and put them in jail until the sheriff gets there. Come on, Toto. Uh, Luke Callan is taken prisoner by Vic Fowler. He'll never reach town alive. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. You could get away with murder just because your kid here was sheriff, huh, Callan? Yeah, you seem to think so. Keep your mouth shut, Fowler. My father's a prisoner and he's going to stand trial. If he's guilty of killing Ainsley... Right? <laughs> if he's guilty? Well, that's pretty funny. Didn't old man Ainsley say you'd seen him just before he got shot? Didn't your old man run away when the law went after him? Why don't you shut up, Fowler? You make my stomach sick. Yeah, you're going to be more than sick to your stomach, old man. Rain up there. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're not moving. Mask man. What? You made a prisoner of the wrong man, Sheriff. Maybe. But it's got to be proved by law. You know quite a bit about law, don't you? I'm the sheriff. And this man is accused of murder. The law says I've got to take him in. Even though he's my own father. The law says you should use your head, Sheriff. Regardless of who the prisoner is. Why, you... Hold it, Sheriff. Fowler... You had a pretty good plan. My friend and I, along with Lou Callan's men, just broke up your big party at the Triangle. What, uh... Every one of your men were taken prisoner. They're on their way to the five-mile jail right now. What kind of crazy talk is this? You're the one who demanded action from the sheriff. One of the killer of Clem Ainsley captured and brought to trial. Hey, just who might you be, Mr. Al Hooter? Maybe you're a partner of Lou Callan's here, huh? I'm his friend, if that's what you mean. Yeah, well, you act like you never heard of Vic Fowler before. You seem to think... I that... think you killed Clem Ainsley by shooting him in the back. I think you're yellow, Fowler. What? Go on, bad man. Try it. You bet. There's your killer, Sheriff. You'll find a half a dozen men in jail willing to testify that he killed Ainsley. That he was behind all the rustling at the triangle. You, Fowler... There's a present for you. A six-gun souvenir for you to remember me by. Come on, Toto. Ah. Well, of all the... Here, let me see that. What did he give you, Fowler? What kind of souvenir? What? Uh, what? Oh, it's a bullet. It's a silver bullet. Why, that masked man... Yeah. Yeah, I'll finish it for you. That masked man was the Lone Ranger. Come on, Fowler. have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.
This has been a presentation of otrwesterns.com, and we hope you enjoyed. Please take some time to like and rate our shows in your favorite podcast application. Follow us on Facebook by going to otrwesterns.com slash Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel by going to otrwesterns.com slash YouTube. And send us an email, podcast at otrwesterns.com. You can call and leave us a voicemail, 707-986-8739. This episode is copyright under the attribution non-commercial share like copyright. For more information, go to otrwesterns.com slash copyright. Have a great day, and thanks for listening.